Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about proportion and what is proportion? As it is defined, equality of two ratios is called proportion. So suppose if we have two ratios, A is to B and C is to D and if they are equal, they are called in proportion. These two ratios, A is to B and C is to D are called in proportion. And sometimes they are also written as A is to B and these four dots, four dots as the corners of a square then c is to d and it is read as a is to b is as c is to d or a is to b is proportional to c is to d. So these are the two ways to refer to these proportions but the basic thing is when two ratios are equal they are called in proportion and yes there are a few more things to learn about these proportions what are they here if we see properly we have four terms in proportion so this term is called the first term this one is called the second term this is called the third term and this one is called the fourth term and these two terms which are in extreme that is the first term and the fourth term first and fourth terms are called extremes and these two terms in the middle b and c second and third term second and third term are called means so the terms in the extreme are called extremes and the terms in the middle are called means so what is the relation between these terms see as we know a is to b can be written as a by b when we write in the form of fraction this is equal to c by d a is to b is equal to c is to d and here if we cross multiply a gets multiplied to d which is a d then this equal to sign a d will be equal to b multiplied by c that means the product of extremes the first term and the fourth term is actually equal to the product of means which is b and c so this is one way of using these terms of proportion and yes when a is to b that is a by b is equal to c is to d then if we write inverse or reciprocal of both the terms then we get b by a is equal to d by c that means if a is to b is equal to c is to d then their reciprocal will also be in proportion and if we cross multiply over here then also the condition gets satisfied here we got a multiplied by d is equal to b multiplied by c and here if we cross multiply b multiplied by c which is b c will give you a multiplied by d which is a d so this is nothing but this condition that means this inverse ratio is also true or inverse proportion is also true and this is called invertendo right so the proportion if a b and c d are in proportion that means a is to b is equal to c is to d then b is to a and d is to c will also be in proportion and that can be proved like this because in both the cases when we cross multiply we get a d is equal to b c then we have one more thing we have got a is to b is equal to c is to d and if we bring the c to the left side of the equal to sign we will get a by b c is equal to 1 by d and if i try to take this b on the right side of the equal to sign we will get a by c is equal to b by d and here also if we cross multiply we will get a d is equal to b c that means if a is to b is equal to c is to d then a is to c is equal to b is to d and this relation is called alternando so this is invertendo and this is alternando here we have altered the terms of the proportion and here we have inverted the terms of the proportion so this is the first video in proportion where we have learnt what is proportion and then we have learned few properties of the proportion and in the next video we will learn few more properties of proportion which is componendo and dividendo and then componendo dividendo and then we will learn continued proportion which is also a variety of proportion or a way to look at numbers and solve the problems so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then